you return, are you prepared to do what must be done? The brilliant Savaladan Bloodgood led the founders to build the very grounds of the Scolia Arcana into a spell. The glyph that imprisons Sardanus. Let the magic guide you. Walk the grounds and place each key with the appropriate founder, and the spell will be undone. When Sardanus is free, join me at the center of the glyph. She will emerge, and I shall make my stand. Good luck. One more key remains. I can feel the harmonies of the spell glyph unraveling. She is Why coming, does she not us. No, be ready. Stay back. It's a. Uh, you must. Ah! For so long, I have anticipated this moment. To savor the sweet taste of freedom, and to destroy the legacy of those that imprisoned me. And I owe it all to you. From the beginning, you've played your part with a bright perfection. Each step in harmony with my will. Fool. So much potential. It is a pity I have to kill you now. Arch Sage. What silly titles you children use. That wretch would have been a servant in the Dark Empyrean. But rest assured, he is safe now. Deep within the very same spell that bound me. And he will rot there for all eternity. Of course it must. I've spent the last seven centuries locked within a prison spell, forged from these very stones. I cannot step backward in time and visit my vengeance on those who put me here, but I can destroy their legacy. The Scolia Arcana will not survive the hour. You all will burn!
You have done what no other member of our order could. You have faced Ciara Sedanus and emerged victorious. After your trial of initiation, Jubal Calidus gave this to me. I realize now he meant for you to have it upon his death. The Scolia Arcana owes you everything, and are now yours to command, Arch Sage. With Savant Engar indisposed, running the day-to-day -day affairs of the chapter has fallen to me. The city's facilities are suitable for our use, and certain parts of it are not without their charms. In moments of solitude, I wonder, with recent events plaguing our mages so, will we survive these coming times? Greetings, Arch Sage. Move along, citizen. City Watch, be on your way. Students of magic, masters of spells. Citizen. For today, see tomorrow. Not a right city in our world. You? How in the... Erlek, that turncoat. I never should have trusted a liar to commit murder. That's what murderers are for. What do you want? Of course I did. I'm not the Lord of Dolve Arn. I'm not even from the Tewili Coast. But what does it matter? I only did what I had to do. Don't we all? The Rathir authorities don't have to know. Keep this quiet and let me sail with this galley, and you can have the gold I received for the treasures of Koln. I am a man of my word. Most of the time. No! You wretch! You will rue the day you betrayed Crass! Do you hear me? Come back.
the Lion of Winter, the Magus King, Indarian of Candrian, captured fire in his fist and with it took command. With wisdom and tenacity, the Lord of Aod captained peace. May it never cease. Welcome to Candrian Keep. Please behave yourself.
Greetings. Ah, good, you got the ring. With this, we're one step closer to forcing Lord Candrian out of his keep and unshackling the Candrian guard to challenge the Tuatha. We need to modify the ring before we return it to Lord Candrian. There is an altar in Western Candrian that is perfect for our needs. Take the ring there and place it on the altar. There may be some resistance to your efforts. Just ensure nothing disturbs the ring until it's finished. Return to me when you're done. Another time, then. Greetings!
Greetings. Impressive. The altar put quite a nasty curse on that ring. Restore it to its proper place. Be sure you're not seen. The keep guards have been on high alert since the ring went missing. With Indre Kandrian dead, Arian Raidan is sure to become the new lord. He will drive the two other off our shores once and for all. Don't worry, it will be painless. Once he's worn the ring and retires for the night, he'll sleep and simply never wake again. What did you think we were doing? Honestly, have you ever heard tell of a curse that could forge a brave man from a coward? This is the only way. But we're so close. We need a lord who will lead the Candrian guard into battle, not hide in his keep. Think about it. I'll still be here with the ring if you change your mind. Inre Candrian became lord just before the Crystal War began. When the Tuatha invaded, he retreated to his keep and refused to come out. Left all Candrian to die just to save himself and his precious family name. Why, I am but a humble agent of change, endeavoring to be in the right place at the right time. Durant runs the general store here in Melaglir. He's a bit off, but he's said to have a singular knowledge of the arcane. He is Lord Indre Candrian's nephew, the son of Indre's sister, and a Losalfar trader. Thankfully, he spent his childhood in the north with his father's people. It was only recently that his parents passed away, and he was sent here to come age under the influence of Lord Candrian. Candrian was once the safest region in all of Erethel. No one dared to challenge the Candrian guard. Now, with the Tuatha raiding up and down the coast, the guard do nothing but protect Lord Candrian as he cowers in his keep. The keep is in the southeast corner of Candrian, supposed to be impenetrable when it's sealed, but I've heard rumors that one could sneak inside through a cavern below it. I'd heard it was a quiet town, but now I hear whispers of people mysteriously disappearing during the night. I haven't left the inn since I arrived. Rathir is the great city of the Dokalfar, up the coast a ways. It's old and beautiful, but don't hold a candle to Odessa if you ask me. Are you ready to finish this? Good. You'll need to find a different way in this time. Since your last visit, they've sealed the front door and barred all visitors. Remember, place the ring back where you found it without anyone noticing. Hopefully, Candrian will just think he overlooked it. Another time, then.
Ah, there you are. Have you heard the news? Poor old Lord Candrian passed away in his sleep. Very sad. Yes, you'll be happy to hear that Arian Rhydarn is the new Lord Candrian. Incidentally, I believe this belongs to you. Careless of you to have left it behind, but I hope we can work together again sometime. The Losulfar are an honorable people, and you can easily see that they raised Arian to be a just and virtuous leader. With Arian in charge of the Candrian Guard, they will take the fight to the Tuatha and drive them back across the sea. Indre Candrian was a poor lord. It is better that he is gone. Now, perhaps, the Guard can drive the Tuatha back across the sea and make this land safe again. Greetings. Hello. What may Durant Alagus do for you? 